very quiet. If you need to talk to him to, to get a conversation out of him. I think with friends, he's, he's very open, he's very caring. And he actually, uh, I mean, from the feedback that we got, he, he, he's really a very good friend to people and, and especially the students. But in home, he's a, we always, I call him a one word man. You ask him, you answer. He's a very quiet guy. Um, I think we had good fun ribbing each other. Um, you know, because I, I used to play rugby. So he used to make fun that rugby were all brain concuss. I told him dragon boaters were all just muscle jobs. After his commander training, he applied for uh, engineering, NTU, electrical electronic engineering. Then one day after his masters, he came back home, we had a dinner, he said, Mapa, I give up engineering. We got shocked. We thought that we expect him to go for PhD here after his master, you know. But he said, no, I've got no passion. I was disappointed. I thought you'd pursue engineering, you know. Then they thought, he said, up to you, uh, your life. You want to have passion, it's your future. You feel it. Like, go ahead, you know. As long as uh, Ernest, you like it. And they thought he applied to go to NIE to become a teacher. I think teaching, if it's a life, he'll be suiting because he's got passion for teaching and he cares a lot for the, for the son. Because even in NJC, his subject was uh, only PE, because he's very strong in maths. He's, he's a very strong point in maths. So the students once in a while, after work, after, sorry, after school, will ask him about maths problems. He was explaining to them. You know? There are some of the students who wrote letters. We, we read just now again, we read some of them. He said, first thing, he, he, besides teaching maths, he taught them about life skills, moral character. There is one letter, it's very touching, uh, when he was first to Payo. And at the first to Payo, those boys are quite playful. And then he says that, and because Stefan stayed back to coach him, tell him his life, then he says he won't be the Gary that he is because Stefan. In that sense, to you know, really to be there for the students, uh, and I think he really served as an inspiration to them. And I mean, all this we only know during the course of the week and what they've said. And I think, I think as my father mentioned, that short period of time, he really touched a lot of lives. So I think in my daily uh, job as a teacher, I, I do try my best to live up to that. I agree with my parents, you know. I think we've all, we've reached closure. What has happened has happened. It is what it is. Um, I mean, we'll carry the pain, definitely, and, and we'll definitely remember. But, you know, I think I, exactly what my mom said, life goes on. And, you know, and, and we try to honour his memory by our lives, you know, we remember him. I mean, and, and I think for the number of years with us, we, we, we take that memory and I, I suppose, in a way, just, just enjoy while we had Stefan.